you, you get up to the front of the line, and you know how that works, right? The car comes up, and then everybody steps out on the other side, and what you want to do is just step into that car and just step right through, but the little one gets in there, slides in, and says, come on, sit down. So you, okay, you sit down next to them. Your heart is thundering in your chest. You can't get any words out of your mouth, and then the attendant comes by, and they start pulling those bars down, right? So they get to you, and it's click, click, and you are locked in. And I don't know what it is about roller coasters, but it seems like all of them are designed to start with that jerk, right? You pull away, and again, every roller coaster on the planet, it seems, starts with that dramatic ascent. So all of a sudden, I mean, immediately, you are leaving the gravitational pull of the planet, and, and the, the higher up you go, you see the world start to spread out in front of you. And at first, you're giving yourself a little pep talk at this point, right? You say, oh, the view is magnificent. This is lovely. It's such a good view. You can't get a view like this anywhere else. And then you, you make it up finally to the very top, the crest of this thing. And, and the roller coaster, your car just tips over the edge. And then all of a sudden, it's like the brakes give way. And you are gravity's love slave, man. You're... you're <laughs> hurtling to the earth at a million miles an hour, and typically right at that point in the process, you find your voice again, right? You hear yourself screaming, and there are two words that come out of your mouth. What are they? That's them. Excellent job, class. Nicely done. M stands for moment. You got the idea? You see where I'm going with this? All right, so what I'm suggesting is the OSM is a natural thing. The OSM is a good thing, actually, in the right context. The OSM is part of the human experience. The OSM is the built-in indicator that we have as human beings that we're doing or about to do something that has extraordinary potential to it. Have you ever made a commitment to another human being, a big commitment? And you made this commitment because you really believe in the commitment and you believe in the other person. But as much as you believed in it and him or her, Tell me there was no OSM there when it came time to step up and actually deliver on that commitment. I'll give you a very simple example. How many of you are married? Can I see your hands, please? All right, just think back for a moment to your wedding day. Tell me there was no OSM on your wedding day. I mean, sure, this is the love of your life and all that. I get it. But you tell me that when you were saying, I do, you weren't also thinking, oh, shit. I mean, tell me that wasn't happening. <laughs> it's a natural part of the process. I mean, I know it is. I've had that experience twice, as a matter of fact. I know it's true. <laughs> so what I'm suggesting is, again, that the OSM is a natural part of the human experience. Now, let me be blunt about this. We're here because we're leaders and aspiring leaders. So let me say it like this. The OSM is especially true in the act of leadership. Or to say it another way, a little more bluntly, there is no such thing as real leadership, i.e. extreme leadership, without the frequent experience of the OSM. So to say it another way, if you're not, if you're not experiencing the OSM with some frequency in the context of your leadership endeavors, then you're not really leading yet. So push it to the point where it scares you a little bit, now you know you're in the game.